this episode of Celebration News, and we're on the down slope. Yes, sir. We are. You do know you got to work Sunday morning, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, just checking. That's yes, right. sir, my foot. <laughs> Here we go. One more time. Da -da. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Jake Jacobs asks for your support as he rides for the roses on brain power in the amateur counter class at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Allie Doe Jacobs is heading in the 84th Walking Horse Celebration where she asked for your support in the Youth Country Pleasure Division seated on the first night out. Allie Jo will then be showing her riding skills in the Youth 11 and Under Equitation Division aboard A.T. Grant. Allie Jo and friends ask for your support during this year's celebration. Every year, thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration, featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd, when the world grand champion Tennessee walking horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931 6 845915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Watch for me and Pocahontas as she competes in both open and amateur championship classes with Tyler Bauckham in open and Allison Armstrong and Allison Bicknell in the amateur division. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Please stand and cheer for the team of I Am Uno and Jake Jacobs in the Amateur Park Performance Division of the 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Welcome back. You know, uh, your buddy Rob, uh -huh. you need to tell everybody about Rob Brainerd. Oh, Rob's got this good business going on. If y'all ever need a barn built or a house or any kind of maintenance work like that, give Rob a call. 
Tell you what, he, he is blowing and going. Yeah, he? he is. He doesn't. He does a good job now. He got some pretty property out there on the lake. On the lake, I yeah. Mean, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's nice property. I looked You're at looking it. Looking for somewhere to go fishing or whatever. That's it. Go out your back door. Go out the back door and go fishing right there. I used to be able to do that before I got married. <laughs> <laughs> I lived on the lake. Got married, moved off the lake. That, that ain't good. I'm right. married. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Yeah, that's 45 years today, buddy. I can tell you, I, I didn't completely quit fishing. Though. I, still, <laughs> I still get to go fishing every now and then. We're still closing out on Richard's Jewelry. And yesterday, I had some people come in here in the studio and purchase several items because they, uh, they, he said that he fell in love with the, with the horseshoes and the horse jewelry. And his wife, I mean, she, she just loved him. He bought a big old horse. I didn't have any chains, though, so they had to go to a jewelry store to get a chain, but he sent me a picture of it, and uh, had a big old horse just fit fine on that necklace That's that he bought. real nice jewelry. Yeah. It's just super sharp. We got several people looking and wanting different things, and believe me, we got it. The belt buckle is gone. <laughs> it is gone, because she jumped all over she, it. That's a good Love deal. It. It's, well, it's very, it's very unique. It's something that is not... Uh, I don't, I've never seen one like it before, and he hadn't either, and she didn't. So she, that's one thing that she wanted, and she wanted it right now. So uh, they got it right now. <laughs> you know, the jewelry is coming back. Everybody's wearing it. Everybody, hey, you know. It's, it's, I got one yesterday that's very, it, it's from the 80s. Uh, Giles Dunn called me, and uh -huh. it had, it's a double horseshoe ring. One of them's gold, and one of them's diamond. Yes. I mean, beautiful, beautiful ring. And here's another, I've been telling everybody, and, and I'm really pushing this because we need different avenues to sell our horse, and they're selling great. But the Todds, Justin and Jackson Todd, they do a fantastic job of, I call it boot camp, getting them ready for outside to where they'll go through different obstacles. They wade them through water. They, they, they get them to do a little bit of everything, get them to do the teeter-totter. It's just... This is something that I believe is, is a great avenue for our horse. Well, yeah, it is. And, you know, Justin Janae has got a website that he is selling. I know you got the Horse Bay and some of these others, but Justin Janae's got a, a website that he sells horses off of. And does a real good job on it. Well, that, yeah, I it mean, might as well keep it in the industry, That's folks. Right. Call Justin and tell him, say, hey, I got an obstacle horse here. And, I mean, this extreme cowboy competition that they do they have one up at circle c on the mountain that I, I remember seeing tracy penson up there yeah she was uh racing in it but these horses they'll do whatever you ask them to just carry them to somebody to train them and teach them how to do it if you want them you got it. If you don't, you've got a place to an avenue you, to sell. You're exactly right. You know, you can take this horse that you've been showing for years and you don't show no more. You can take him and start teaching him how to do stuff like this. Yeah. And you can still have fun with him. And that's a good place for kids. Oh, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that obstacle, I believe that obstacle is fantastic yeah. for, for kids, for especially for, you know, your 6 to 11 to 12. Competition-wise, that's ideal for them. Yeah. They'll, they'll learn different things. Also, if you're on the showgrounds, there's one place to stop and eat. They got some good bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich. Oh my lord! And I they think you get better every day. That, that's it. Hey, they they just put a great sandwich together: pinto beans, cornbread, and right there's two the, the you know who they are. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. the Roach Roachy. twins come all the way to Kentucky to watch a good horse and eat at the VFW. Yep. Now ain't, ain't everybody do that, <laughs> but they did. Well, it's a good place to socialize, too. You eat and sit there and talk to your friends you haven't talked to in years. Oh, yeah. Well, stuff. you run to every, into everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After you get through that, walk right down just a little bit and get you a donut. donut. Yep. You just eat one of them. <laughs> that second one, it hit it, it bottom. <laughs> everybody, CJ sent over and bought four dozen. Man. He ain't got out of that chair. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> well, tonight, four-year-old world grand championship. Yeah. I, I tell you what, I, I look for Troubadour to be back. True Blue's going to be there. Uh, I don't know who else is going to show back. They're, they're buzzing all over the 
stadium about Kobe's going to do this and Switchblade, he's going to be. So we, we don't know which ones are showing back, which ones are not. Yes. But uh, it's, it, no matter what, it's going to be a great class. We've got some fantastic four-year-olds. Last night, Cavender. Oh, good. I, I, good horse. I, I felt that all year long, that Cavender was the horse to beat. And he showed last night that he, he was, was, he was he the was horse super to beat. horse that, last night. Hey, Knox had him clicking. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. But we have some Jackie Watley. Did you see uh -huh. that class? Yeah. Holy cow. And I mean, she was in there. When you're in there with the likes of the Heisman, King thing, some, I mean, you, you, that's some high college. Oh, yeah. And that's Jackie right. Watley, I mean, she looked outstanding. And the others did, too. I thought the Heisman looked fantastic. He that, looks yeah. just like he always does. He's Mr. Automatic. King thing looked great. But Jackie, I'm going to tell you, Jackie just, uh, she she got everybody's eye. That's and what happened. She got it know. at the right time, and and she looked fantastic. Of course, and here we go. All right, the Dixie Label and Chloe McSwain, owner amateur U 12 to 14, Marion Gildan winner. Tell you what, she made a good show. Yeah. Our show just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. I don't know how much longer it's going to get. And better and better and better. And better. Well, the, the, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> right here he is. He celebrated his birthday, and he's still, he's still celebrating. We may see him back. Yeah. He's talking about it. And that is... 6 to 11 class, it is loaded. Oh, yeah, it is. Good job, Eli. Right here, up tight Jose and Bruce McDonald. For Bruce and Robin McDonald. Elite owner amateur gentleman, Baron Gilden winner. Well, I accept and watch these victory oh, passes yeah. all day. Here all he day. is. Here he is. Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacobs family. That's a whole lot of horse right there in a little package. Yeah. R.M. does a fantastic job with him. He does. Spencer's tickled, ain't he? Yeah, he is. He's. That's the way it goes, though. I mean, people, right now, you go to the showgrounds. Well, I'm going to have to go over there this morning. It's buzzing. Yeah, it is. All the horses. They're at the showgrounds, the that's ones they're showing. They're All the of them are there, there getting ready. So it's, it's going to be an interesting day over at the showgrounds now. Right here is Infidelity and Carol Brooke Adams. Your amateur novice, 617 Trail Pleasure, Marion Gildan, reserve winner. You know, that young lady right there will look back on this right here and remember when she went to the World Grand you, Championship. You exactly, you exactly right. Walked out with a reserve world champion. You're making memories right here. Tell me about it. We've already uploaded a bunch of the victory passes to the YouTube for people. Deep down in Dixie and Joe Lester for Wendy Payton. I looked this morning, CJ's been working overtime. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just like anything else. You can see pictures and you can tell people what you've done. But when you can sit there and show them a video, oh man, it's a lot different. Well, they say, I've asked this question yesterday. I said, if a picture is worth a thousand words, what's that video worth? That's right. right. And it's, it's unreal. 
You know, anybody can take a picture and put a blue ribbon on it and take a picture of it. But now if you can see it. Right. You can't Photoshop can't this, fella. That's right. What you see here is what you've yeah. got, and right there he is. Reserve canner winner, me and Pocahontas, Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. I'll tell you what, if you get placed in front of that mare, you've done something. You've done something. You're exactly right. What? Hey, that's a good horse right here. Two, three, four, and as of last night, five. Five year old. Smoky Mountain Strong and Lexi Stinnett for Connor and Stinnett. That's a good horse. That rider's a good person. I yeah. mean, one, a super person. Hey, Jimbo, he's super nice. That's right. I remember the first time guy. I met him. Joe Barnes introduced him to me. Good guy. Right here he is, Line Adam Beto and Rachel Teague for the Bo Teague family. You know, they keep that horse at home, and, but they still breed it. They still breed it. Yeah, sure do. Mm -hmm. I just about bet that they got a little girl that's going to end up on that horse. horse. They may say they're going to retire that horse. I'm not sure how old he is. But I just got a feeling that little girl end up on that horse. And a real laid back horse. They love girl Piper. And I'm, yep. you know, she goes out there and she plays with him and everything else. Mm. Look at them loose reins. Gigi's Majestic and Elsie Bradford for William Bradford. Owner Amateur Western Country Pleasure Reserve winner. Look at them reins. Yep. Loose and reins. Been, and you've been hearing about this horse for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah. Every time you look up. She's won several world championships, even world grand championships on this horse. That's right. Elsie's a sweet young lady. Now she is. Her and her mother both just nice as they can be. Here she is, twisted with honors, and Allison Armstrong, far Allison Armstrong, elite owner, amateur lady stallions. And this team right here. Hey, they they're gonna, gonna make they they, make history hey, here. They are. They're gonna get better. They are. They're gonna get better, and they're gonna First have to deal showing. with them. Once they mesh, because she just purchased that That's horse not saying. long ago. Uh, they, you can see the future. Right here's Georgia, Florida line, and Robert Dorch, owner, amateur gentleman, show pleasure winner. It's another good horse. Oh yeah. Robert, he ain't no stranger to that blue ribbon circle. <laughs> no, no, he's been there several times. That's right. Well, he got an eye for good horses. He, he sees a good one, he goes after it. He, he talked Bruce out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Ultra Gray Pistol and Elsie Lewis for Kilburn and Lewis, amateur three-year-old Baron Gilden, Section B winner. You know, the celebration's gone by pretty fast. Yeah. And we haven't had any real bad weather. No. Knock on wood. <laughs> Get that done quick. That's right. Don't need nothing. Don't need nothing. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's on the down slope. <laughs> we got a Friday night. So we don't need nothing else. Right there he is, my honey bee and Taylor Walters. They just purchased that one. Oh too. yeah. There's a lot of new purchases. There's a bunch of horses sold this is yeah. this two weeks of the celebration. Well, here. Half a horse sold yesterday or the day before yesterday. Yeah. Half a horse. Uh -huh. How do you buy half a horse? <laughs> you go in partnership. You go in partnership. Yep. Investment. I guarantee you the only partnership on that one right there is Taylor and Molly. Yeah. That's a nice horse right there. I like it, name, my honey bee. Right there, quite an honor and Beth Beasley. I tell you what, I thought Beth did outstanding. Yeah. I really did. I've done a good job. I know this hot weather's rough on Beth. 
but she, she hangs in there. Her and them girls, something else. Can you imagine the conversation at dinner with, oh, her, with oh, them oh, girls oh, and them oh, talking oh, about oh, these oh, horses? I <laughs> dare honor my country and Stephanie White, owner Stephanie White, or Tony White. I tell you what, that's a good one right that's there. That is a good one. It's been good for a long time, too. Does a great job. And she rides, man. Okay. She works hard. Well, she does. She Every time hard. you see her, yeah. if she's fooling with some horse, horse or doing something, that's right. her own run. Yeah. She loved them horses. Right. There's a great ride now, yeah, Miss Dixie Carter. I watched her. She hung that rail and tried to stay out of the crowd. Yeah. She made a great show. 15 to and under, Marion Gilding. I thought she was outstanding she myself. Good. Right there's a shade of Jose and Eric Lackey. Tell you what now, Eric, he he made a great show. Oh, he gets now, it done. There wasn't nothing wrong with what Eric did. I thought he was outstanding myself. Hey, you, I see a bunch of good horses over there. Hey. I tell you what, you, sometimes you look and you, you see how they're tying and you wonder what's going on, but hey. Yeah. Right there's owner amateur three-year-old stay in section A. That's a great ride because he did a good job of showing that horse. Oh, yeah. Paul's super good. You know, I really like him. Hey, he just, he's a nice guy, I tell he you. Just, well, he's just down to earth. He says, hey. He's good for the industry. I believe so, too. He, I believe, so. oh, I mean, he's, he's a good one. It just, uh. Everybody has their preferences, I know yeah. that, but some of these people I, I really think a lot of, oh, yeah. and they, they work hard, and they deserve everything they get. Well, they try to help everybody. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you better do what, what you're supposed to do. We'll be right back after these messages. The Jake Jacobs family asks you to support the team of Jake Jacobs and Grayton Beach as they compete for top honors during the 84th celebration in the amateur four-year-old division. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. Agenda Win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Stand and cheer for Team Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors as they strive for the championship honors and the roses to prove it in the amateur division. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. 
The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. champion in amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to watch a few more victory passes, but yeah. we've got some uh, fantastic shows oh, from yeah. last night. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of good flat shot shows. They had some uh, good classes. Hey, they did. Night, they they, had, some, they had some tough classes. Yeah. yeah. But what about that I be smoking? He I just keeps. He, he, every time you look at him, that horse gets better and better. He just keeps better. clicking along, son. Yeah. He don't. He just does not miss it. And if you notice. Every one of them, Susie, you need to get in that saddle because so far as I know, she's the only one that, have, that right. has not been in the saddle, saddle and won a blue ribbon blue. on that horse. Yeah, they, they've right. won world championships, world grand championship, and, and she's still there cheering. Mr. For Real. Right here is Mr. For Real yeah. and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons. I wouldn't be surprised you don't see Tiffany on this horse one day. Well. I asked Paul about it. He said, we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, because she likes them horses, too. She's... That's a good horse. Jimmy's yeah. doing it. Paul's got some good horses. Doing a good job. He's got some real good horses. Yeah. Me and Pocahontas. I was tickled to death for Alice B Big Nail. Yeah. She, I really was. Alice Armstrong was real, <laughs> real excited about her showing. And uh, we put her in an ad and all this, and yeah. here she goes. She goes out and wins Allison Armstrong a world championship on Allison's mare. Mm -hmm. The only difference in them, they spell that Allison different. That's right. But now she, Allison, can ride. Honor and salute, and Kayla Balkum for Carrie DeArmond. I tell you what, Carrie made a great show on this horse. Now oh, yeah. he did. But I was sitting with a lady, and it's a trainer's wife. She said when she comes back, she wants to set a saddle like Kayla Balkum. <laughs> now I want you to look there. Oh, Kayla, yeah. ju Kayla just got a way of riding. Oh yeah. That that's just. I mean, she's in a category by herself, really. Well, I tell you what, she buy me a lot of her dad mm. showing a horse no. and presenting a horse. But she does a good job of it. Right there, honors to Mr. Guest and Jeremy Jensen. Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. That's one of Virginia's and yes. buddy. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that horse. No, sir. That's a nice horse, real nice horse. I think about it, we're putting a count on that horse and put him in a different division. Mm -hmm. Might show him in some of the state classes. Hey, if he'll wear that tail set, yeah. that, some, some horses just will not. Some won't wear the tail set. Well, you take that tail set off, they're fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. For Sacy's Dollar and Kenny Compton. For Rick Compton. I tell you what, I can't, every time I see Kenny, no matter what horse he's on, I always visualize him in NYPD. Oh, yeah. I always That's do. Right. I love that horse. Kenny's a good guy. Oh, Kenny's a super I mean, good guy. Always got a smile on his face. That's fantastic family now. Yeah, they it are. is. Well thought of family. Right there's Jen Shatta and Jimmy McConnell for Mike Floyd. Tell you what. Don't be surprised oh, yeah. if you don't see him in there tomorrow night. You're exactly right. 
it won't be a state class if Jimmy ain't If Jimmy there. McConnell ain't in the state class, y'all ain't having he's, no state class. I'm he's a big you. supporter of the state classes, buddy. I'm going to tell you. He's, a, he's always in the state class. Yeah. I will be surprised if he's not in there. And if he's in there, don't count him out. Yeah. He's a showman, a true showman. He is. He gets the most out of his horse. Oh yeah. At the right time. And that's what that's that's what makes him so dangerous. Oh yeah, that's right. I mean when he's in the ring, he's in there to win. And he'll tell you he's in there to win. And everybody knows he's mm -hmm. in there to win. Oh, and he, he, he riding to win. Hey, he will he, come after you in a heartbeat. All righty, here we go, day nine. Right here, Owner Amateur Park Pleasure World Grand Championship. Tell you what, this was a, this was a good class. This was a good class. Now it was. There's a lovely young lady that won this class. Now, Savannah Upchurch took the blue on custom chrome. I walked the walk. Carol Misseldine was reserved. Title line: Abby Farmer, Boston Bay, a great horse, and Alex Johnson was fourth. A Titleist Masterpiece, Blake Kamick, Dixie Legacy, Sister Milligan, Jose is No Count Me Out, John Gladney, Line with Silver Dollars, Cole Nelson, finished out the ribbons. You know what you see in this class now? You see a long time ago, you had your pleasure horse people, you had your performance people. Right. Now you have performance people showing pleasure horses. So yeah. I mean, it's, everybody's you, coming you together. Gotta, you got a mix, but You got a mix of different people showing, you know, one, you, they got performance horses in. Well, you got a lot of, of, especially the women. Yeah. They, they get in them Western classes because they like the, them outfits. Yes. That's a nice horse right there. I like that right there. Yeah, yeah. I do. That's a good horse. But I'm going to tell you, Savannah Upchurch made a heck of a show, I thought. Yeah. I was sitting there watching. I said, I said that girl is, is getting it done. Look at there. I mean, she sets a seat. Oh, yeah. And, and she goes. I know her mother was tickled to death. That six o'clock start time puts the sun in a lot of people's eyes. Yeah. But they were there. Owner amateur youth, six to 17, country pleasure. This was another example of Kimberly Walden and the young people that ride her horses. Lexi Smith won her first world grand championship on Diamond at the Ritz for Walden and Smith. First night out and Riley Gregory took the blue for Brad, or took the, uh, the red. I'm sorry, I'm getting all messed up this morning. Scarlett O'Hara and Harper Grider. He is Forrest Gump, Reagan Garner. A confession, Kaylee Duvall, designer champagne, another one of uh, Kimberly Walden's horses. And Elena Arnold, Bella Bell, Cooper Moore, Huckleberry Jen, Taylor Harvey, Habanero Picante, another one of Kimberly Walden's horses, and Abby Smith. Out there in loving it, Carol Brooke Adams.
And we had three of her horses in there oh, against yeah. each other. All three of them with a youth sitting in it. Now that, that's a special lady. Oh yeah, it Kimberly, is. my hat goes off to you, darling. Well, that's somebody that's helping the industry and putting people in the, she does. In the class and stuff. And I, you know, I wish a whole lot of other people would, would join her lead and they do stuff like I that. I do too. They got these horses. They need to put a plaque up to her. Yeah. They got some of these horses that they are not showing themselves, but find someone that might not can afford it or might not just want all the kid that want to show or whatever and put them in the ring and let them show. Well, I've got one. If someone's got a youngster that wants to show yeah. them on one, let me know. We can you know. sure let, let her or him, well, whoever, in the show ring. That's right. That's my biggest thing. I always try to help someone to get in the show ring to show. Well, that's the best thing to do. Once you get them in the show ring, they grow up. Yeah. They, they may be, you know, in a situation now where they can't afford a horse, but they love to be involved with a horse. Get them in there and let them show. They may grow up to be president of the United States and save our butt. That's right. You're exactly right. You don't never know. Boy, I tell you what, the sun's out there, but look at the crowd. You look at them horses. I love, I, to, I love to see that. I do, too. I would love if we can make some kind of arrangement with some kind of school or something like that to have a, a program like that. It would horses. be great. Right there's first night out in Riley Gregory for Brad Gregory, your amateur, six to 17. Now, this was your reserve winner. Yeah. Riley's had a good celebration, and she has. Right here at Owner Amateur Novice World Grand Championship. It was a good class. Yes, it was. It was a good class. Fly Dragonfly took the blue with Shannon Har in the saddle. I'm Jackalope, Tyra Brown, Dorel, Samantha Green, Lady L, Kelly Manis, Masters Cool Jazz, Glenda Nichols, Masters Degree, Jack Heppington, Alpha Romeo, Gary Kaiser, He's For Real, Gerald Childers, a Jazzy Jen, Sadie Parsons, and Muggsy, Caitlin Winburn finished out the ribbons. Fly Dragonfly took the blue. That horse yeah. right there, I thought deserved better than third. No lower than second. Yeah, that horse there looked great. That was a, a good horse. Well, when she came in, she came in, show her horse, and she showed it. Yes. Yeah. She didn't back up, she didn't quit, she just kept going. Shannon did a good job of showing Shannon, his yeah, horse. Shannon did a good job. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, this is a tough class. It is. Tough class. Right I don't here. care if the novice is on it. That's right. A lot of good horses in there.
Right there he is, fly dragon flying Shannon Har. Tell you what, he he come. I just wish that been a little bit darker. Yeah. And he, he would have had that spotlight ride, ride, which that yeah. spotlight ride to me means a lot. Oh yeah, that's right. But now, buddy, he, he showed his horse. That's what he was supposed to do. He got her done. You're losing your roses there, buddy. Yep. Good show. Right here's one that uh, I, I, I still can't understand why Susie Johnson ain't been on that horse. I'm going to talk to her about that. <laughs> I ought to call her right now and ask her why she ain't right. She did. She, she did show in the fine harness. Okay. Yeah, she did. I mean, not this year. I think it was last year, yeah. year before last. I be smoking Joe and Joel Johnson took the blue. Pedal pushing jazz and Lauren Hamilton was reserved. Frego, Allison Thorson Newman, Miss Bell Star, Doctor Brittany Baum, 401k Pam Betts. John Whip, Renick Staswis, light, light Up the Night, Jennifer Bingham, Something Jazzy, Caitlin Rippey, Tempted, Taylor Legate, and Overnight Success, Kelly Harvey finished out the ribbons. But I be smoking. I got to look to see. I just cannot remember that horse placing lower than first. Yep. And I'm, and I'm serious, if he if he has ever been beat, I just don't remember it. I'm gonna have to look that up because that, that's a that's a good trivia question. This horse here, that horse has been a good horse for a long time ever yeah, since. Yeah, I remember seeing him when uh, they had him out at the barn and, and we were just watching, it was like a gathering. Yeah. And, uh, I remember seeing him, I said, now that's gonna make a good you know, pleasure, horse. Pleasure, yeah. pleasure horse. And buddy, he did. He made a great one. I like to be right. Oh yeah. Because it's very seldom I'm I am. Look at all oh, yeah. them horses all down there. And they're gonna pull out one as the winner. There he is. I be smoking Joe and Joe Johnson. Now he got the spotlight right. Oh yeah. Tanner and Tucker let their grandfather win a world grand championship. On her amateur all day pleasure world grand champion. That's the kind of horse you want when you're out on oh, the yeah. trail. That's the one right there you want. I wonder if they take him trail. I'm going to ask them. I know he gets a lot of riding. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you. Now, this class right here, unreal. It's, to yeah. me, it's one of the best classes of the night. All about that, Jose and Jackie Watley took the blue. Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald was reserved. A King Thane and Bob Adcock was third. Command on parole, Cheryl Crawford. Cash Agenda, Jimbo Connor. Miss Stone Cash, Noah Botch. Jen's Not Kidding, Sister Milligan. Hammer on parole, Jim Hiding. Fly Like an Eagle, Ben Moss, Hollywood Knight, Steve Wilson. This is a loaded class right there. Well, listen to this. All about Jose and Jackie Wadley. Then, Mr. Heisman, world champion, 21, 20, 19, 2018, also world grand champion. A king thing, world champion. Command on parole, world champion. That's right. And now, all about Jose and Jackie Watley, 
has them a world grand championship. Yeah. And buddy, she she shows her horse. I tell you, Miss Jackie, one, she's a, a nice lady. Oh, she's super lady. She's super. But I'm gonna tell you what what's impressive to me. She, I watched her. Look, look going there. She yeah. put on a clinic, buddy. And that, look at there. Oh yeah. That's the Heisman. There's King thing. Those three top horses right there are unreal. There's a classic horse. That's Hammer on Parole. Look at all them in there. Look at here. She got the spotlight. That right there is something, buddy. Congratulations, Jackie. Well deserved. Very well deserved. I know she's happy this morning. Yeah. And right here is Mr. Heisman, Bruce and Robin McDonald. Had to show this horse. Oh yeah. Because he is he is a classic horse. Yep. And still competing with all these yes. young horses. He's competing the with the thing. young ones. Yeah. And Bruce does a great job of showing him. Uh -huh. So I was tickled to death for, yep. for that. Jackie Watley I, I, is a fine lady. Yes, she, she you is. know she's an attorney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure is. I might need her someday. And she sends some of the best oranges it is in the world. She is sent a, a box of oranges. She did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jackie? As she sent the best ones, all different kind of oranges. I'll, I'll, I'll give her my address. <laughs> <laughs> I love oranges. Yeah. I slice them so good. Ooh, I love them. We, we better take a commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support for R.M. Kellett as he glides Mr. True Blue toward the championship honors in the four-year-old counter division at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. As a five-star rated bank with locations in Bedford and Moore counties, First Community Bank has been the bank of choice for over 30 years for both families and businesses. Customers openly place their faith in the leadership of the bank that provides multiple services, each designed to provide solutions for the needs of every customer. Services like online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking are just a couple of examples. When I asked what customers like best about First Community Bank, they answered the hometown hospitality and the support they show for community. Community-minded and customer-minded, the solution to all your needs is a short ride or simple phone call away. Take that first step toward a community-minded bank. Call 931-684-5800 or stop by one of their locations today. First Community Bank, a community leader. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. He's back and ready to wear the roses, so Allison Armstrong asks you to stand and cheer as Tyler Balkum guides old Troubadour towards another World Grand Championship. Allie Jo Jacobs asks for your support when she enters the 84th celebration with her performance horses in the 11 and under division seeking top honors with Cole Hahn. Aljo Jacobs will then be aboard her World Grand Champion. I'm Coach Cal in a second 11 and under class. Aljo will be entering the 11 and under pony division aboard Da Haas. And once again, ask for your support. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much.
Watch El Hombre in Black as he carries Jake Jacobs in his quest to wear the roses in the four-year-old amateur stallion class during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We still got a couple more classes. Oh, yeah. And we got a good one. Oh, yeah. And it's, really just, it's, going, it's going to get good. Mm -hmm. It's going to get better. <laughs> it's going to get exciting. Yep. And I called it. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I you called did. it. You I called did. it when he was a two year old. I said it. And he just keeps getting better. Now they got to look forward to him for as a four year old. Oh, that's right. Knox has got his number. But we got, other, we got another class we're going to show first. All right, here's your owner amateur youth, 6 to 17, show pleasure. This is a good class. Hey, tough class, too. That's right. And his line with Cash took the blue with Coe and McSwain. I'm Coach Cal, and Allie Joe Jacobs was reserved. That young lady just keeps on getting it yeah. done. Wired and lined, Kelsey Wright. Benelli, Jason Kamak, Carmack. He's primetime, Jonathan Lowell. Blues for Santana, Macy Ware. Nico Moon, Mason Taylor. And watch the line, Jacqueline Garner. I tell you what, it's a fact. Allie Joe has a huge following. Oh yeah. They love to watch that little lady show. And I do too. Had a man tell me down at the VFW booth that he thought about getting his granddaughter in it, but those horses are so big. I told him, I said, go watch Allie Joe ride one of them horses oh, yeah. that she rides. And you'll see that, hey, you got a good horse, anybody can ride right. it. Right, that's right. And Allie Joe is just a good equestrian, point blank. Look at there. Oh, yeah, she's riding it. Hey, man. she's riding that horse, buddy. She says, hold on, I'm coming. Yeah. These kids have no fear. They just oh, no. they and, and, that, and those horses know it. They they can sense it. Right there she is. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs. She just said, I'm going to take a shortcut out of here. I want to go to the barn. <laughs> she made a fantastic show. Right here is what I was looking forward to. Three-year-old World Grand Championship. And believe me, it did not disappoint. No. No way. <clears throat> Cavender and Knox Blackburn took the blue for Bruce and Robin McDonald. Michael Roy, Tyler Balkan, Keith and Lorraine Rosberry. Finally, I am. Jimmy McConnell, Thomas and Grant. I am March Madness, Casey Wright for Bill and Debbie Woods. Honor of the Ritz, Dan Waddell, Tavney Beasley, Augie, R.M. Kelly, for Mr. and Miss Howard Eastridge. He's a top gun, Derek Monahan, Carolyn Evans, the Dixie Outlaw, Bill Bobo, Charles Johnson, finished out the ribbons. What more can you ask for, though, buddy? That's right. Just a great, great show. Great class of horses. Great lineup. Remember, I called it. I like to be yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good horses in there, yeah, too. Yeah, a lot of good horses. Watch that horse and Knox and every time he go, he just like he going upstairs all the time. I know. As he go 
the more he squats behind. He's just uh, an exceptional horse. Yeah. And that's not taking anything away from the others because there no, were some good they, they ones in there. Real good horses in there. <laughs> Tyler was on a good one. RM, I mean, there's yeah, some great lineup right of horses. Tyler walking on. Casey. Oh. I'm surprised that Casey didn't finish a little bit higher. This is about like a pie contest. All of them good, but you just have one taste a little better. That's right. That's it. Well, the fans loved it. Oh, yeah. They getting into it big time. Right there, that whole thing just, I mean, he just, he's awesome. Hey, when you, this was perfect. Yeah. It really was. It was perfect. There he is, three-year-old world grand champion, Cavender, and Knox Blackburn for Bruce and Robin McDonald. And a pretty horse. Yeah. He, he is getting it done. Big time done. Yeah. Well, you talking about walking. Oh, yeah, he's he's got his knee up over that way up yeah, over that rail. I know. So he, yeah. he is I mean, flat getting it real done. Pretty good. Pretty good I, height. Tell me about it. Ain't but one thing wrong. I gotta talk to Bruce, see if he won't put my name on them papers. <laughs> I, I don't want to pay for him though, because I couldn't afford it. Just put Jerry on that. Don't put <laughs> you know, you don't put the last name. Don't put the last name. Just all put Jerry. Us, yeah, all, all of us will be on We'll yeah. share ownership with you, Bruce, in a heartbeat. You know, there's a lot of horses selling half a horse, oh, yeah. a whole horse. horse. Yeah. It, it's doing good. We're gonna have a great show tonight. Yep, gonna have oh, a really good show. Remind everybody, the show gets longer today and we'll continue to get longer through Sunday morning. And then, uh, of course, we go back to regular one-hour episodes next week. So the celebration will come to an end. Yep. It's gone by pretty fast. It's gone by pretty year. quick. It it's has. Pretty I mean, quick. Just so like busy. It. Everybody's been so busy. So well, everybody's running go. here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. You just ain't got time to stop. Uh, I had a lady been trying to catch me for two days, and we ain't hooked up yet. Yeah. To, she wants to get one of the action device bracelets. So maybe I'll catch her before the celebration's <laughs> over with. If not, I'm sorry. That's I, right. I tried. <laughs> but we just didn't make it. We'll see everybody again in the morning. You headed to showgrounds? Yes, I'm headed to uh, showgrounds. Good yeah. luck to everyone. Good luck tonight. See you all tomorrow morning. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.
Hebrews of Rancho Mirage, California. Taylor Walters and Danny, congratulations.